In this experiment, we will be investigating the magnetic field along the axis of a pair of Helmholtz coils. Pocket Lab Voyager has been connected to the end of a long dowel rod which can be moved back and forth along the axis. The distance between Voyager and this white cardboard and back will give us the position of Voyager relative to the coils themselves. Pocket Lab Voyager's magnetometer will measure the magnetic field strength. We're now ready to start the experiment, which we're going to use Firefox for. And to do that, I'll go ahead and click the experiment right here to start it, Magnetic Field Helmholtz Coil Experiment. It's now asking us to pick a device, so I'm going to go ahead and turn on Voyager. It's recognized Voyager via Bluetooth, so I'll go ahead and select it right here. As you can see, it's setting up a graph of magnetic field strength along the y-axis and position of Voyager along the x-axis. At this point, I'll go ahead and turn on the current in the loops. As you can see here, it's approximately 9.9 .9 amps. I'm going to go ahead and move Voyager so it's fairly close to the card. And we're ready to go ahead and start collecting data. So I'll go ahead and start that right now and gradually move Voyager away from the card. Stop collecting data. You'll notice that the magnetic field strength is fairly steady over a range which is between the coils itself. And that's the important thing about this particular configuration. What will be interesting for you is to go ahead and investigate when the coils are placed too close together or they're moved too far apart. Also, I should mention that these coils are homemade and can be made very inexpensively and quickly. Uh, and that is explained in a PDF file that is, accompanies this particular uh, lesson. We hope you enjoyed this lesson as well as its analysis.